Hey everybody, anyone is here, back with some more Binding of Isaac, and after our last, our, our, we're on a winning streak, I believe, um, after our last breaking run that took almost two hours, we're gonna do a random, hopefully not get Isaac, and see what we can do here, Magadine, um, so this will probably wind up being a Shoal run, if I can get that far, because I have not beaten Shoal with her, but I have beaten Shoal, I have beaten, uh, the Cathedral with her, so let's see what we can get going here, I'm sure it's not gonna be nearly, uh, as powerful as the last run, or as long as, as we as I might as well mention, uh, but it still should be fun. I've always liked playing with Maggie. It's kind of like playing easy mode, uh, which is actually kind of fine with me just because I need the shoal wins. I only got one shoal win. I am not making that, am I? Okay, we'll just go kill this guy first, and then we'll come around for that last one, and hopefully we can make something happen here. Um, you know, the uh, last couple episodes, I've been trying to get Basement Boy, um, which I found out, um, I think it was before the last episode, but I don't think I actually mentioned it in the last episode. I already have Basement Boy, I must have got it that as one of my early achievements, so the only clearing floors I still need is, uh, Splunker for the caves, and Dark Boy, I think it's Dark Boy, for the, um, depths. Uh, so those are two I have to get. I'm not even gonna try for them now. Those are two that I'm probably gonna have to grind for. I'm not gonna go into the boss room just yet. Um, I just wanna see if I can get anything good from the item room before going in there. I just don't have to backtrack again. Uh, there is a possibility, uh, where the secret room is. Looks, might, actually looks pretty obvious. So we might actually go into the secret room. Uh, poop. This is really not gonna do us any good, but I'll use it once. And get back my yum heart. Not that I like the yum heart much better. Um, but it's definitely better than the poop. So uh, let's just get these fires out. Because I don't have the habit or anything like that. I already have five cents. So at the very least I will have an arcade open. For the next game. For the next floor. Uh, so that's good to know. And we just found another possible place. Wow this room is. This floor is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we found a couple places where the uh, secret room could be. So. We might not actually go for it, unless I can pick up some more bombs. I only have one. With a 50-50 chance, with only one bomb, I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, just because I don't want to waste a bomb and not get into the secret room, uh, which would be quite annoying. Though, if I do get a random drop of a bomb, maybe I will try for both of them. Uh, assuming there's only two possible places. If this opens up into another place, no. Um, then I probably wouldn't have done it, but it doesn't, so we're okay. Uh, playing Wrath here is actually not the worst thing in the world, especially if we can get something good out of him. Um, oh, a couple pickups, bomb, consumables at the very least is what I wanted, so at least we have that. Um, oh, okay, we don't want to get hit by that. Um, but if I could get Mr. Mega, I think he can give us, uh, which I would be very happy with. I, I'd be A-okay getting Mr. Mega, and Wrath will blow himself up. There we go. We got Mr. Boom. Not really what I wanted, but what I can use Mr. Boom for is to check for the secret room. So he didn't give me any bomb consumables, uh, but I can use it right here and see what we can do. Let's see. Oh, 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 damn it. That wasn't close enough. Oh, but I got it anyway, thankfully. Um, and the Ankh. I will take the Ankh. The Ankh will allow us a second life, respawning as Blue Baby with just three soul hearts. So that's something. I mean, that's, that's not horrible. Um, I believe it's on the special items list, so it might have been better off if I didn't take it. Uh, but I took it too late. What are you going to do? Let's just keep moving. We will now go to our boss room and see what's going on. It's a shame that we got two items on this floor and unable to take either of them. But hopefully we get something good from the boss. Um, who knows who we're going to fight. I, I don't think I really have a care. Would I like to get a, uh, a Meat Boy if it's a horseman? Yes, I, I don't mind Meat Boys. But I would also like to get a um, power up would be uh the best power upgrade so we will check it out thankfully i didn't have to waste all my bombs because there is a tinted rock here um my slowness as maggie is really gonna not doing me well here so i have to make sure i stay pretty far away from him so when he rushes me he doesn't get at me so we have him about um well we have him almost halfway dead but specifically gemini and not his little familiar should be dead any second which he was dead before i even ooh that was bad he was dead before i even finished stating what i was trying to say um now i don't think i picked up i guess maggie starts with some kind of shot speed uh because i am knocking this guy all over the place uh which is not good uh i was hoping i could catch him against the wall there i didn't but there we go now we got him we should be able to take him out fairly quickly almost he's almost dead if i could actually hit him then we'd be in business okay here we go and last shot there we go so eight ball not what i wanted i was just complaining about shot speed uh, so i'm not even gonna mess with it another soul heart i'm okay with the soul heart 
Um, so that's three items on this fuller that we couldn't take. But what are you going to do? That doesn't mean this is going to be a horrible run, but doesn't really bode well for my chances of beating Shore to be complete. Shoal. Shore. Shoal. Uh, to be completely honest with you. But it's okay. I mean, we could definitely use some range. We could definitely use some uh, power-ups, health-ups. Yeah, we're okay with health. Uh, health, I'm not too worried about. Uh, luckily, we found our item room night right next to our boss room. So we should be able to hit this up fairly quickly. Telef uh, telepathy for dummies. You know what? I'll use it for the boss fight. Um, but I'm not going to keep it. I'll, I'll definitely keep Yum Heart. Um, not to say, Telepathy for Dummies is good. I think it's in every other room or every two room recharge, which isn't terrible. Um, but, oof, that would have been bad. But I, I'm pretty sure that the Yum Heart would do me more good in the long run. Um, yeah, so, just keep going. Telepathy for Dummies actually is really going to help me on this one. Uh, having a, um, Champion Wrath with all these spiders around, um, he's such a pain in the ass. Oh, but he looks like he's doing a better job at taking care of these spiders than I am. Uh, of course, I just took damage from it. And I can't walk through that creep. That creep will slow me down. Luckily, it doesn't do me any damage. Um, but, okay, he's almost dead. We can get a deal with the devil. I would love a deal with the devil, actually. Um, so let's see what we get out of this. We got Mr. Squeezy and a deal with the devil. Very cool. We'll take Mr. Squeezy right away to get these two soul hearts. And let's see what this deal of the devil wants to give us. Hmm. Now, do I want to give up? Yeah, you know what? I am. I am going to go with the uh, Guppy's head. I really like this item, actually. And that takes us one third closer to being Guppy. And if I can get Guppy on this round, I think that would be a huge advantage. Huge, huge advantage. So we're not going to go back for the Yum Heart, obviously. Um, we're just going to finish clearing this floor just to see, because we think there's an arcade here. So we might want to check out uh, what's in the arcade. Get these guys killed pretty quickly. And now we really, really want to get our damage up. Um, because with these kamikaze flies, damage up is going to be a great way, um, to do damage. Well, obviously, damage up is a great way to do damage, but more importantly, the kamikaze flies are going to do twice our normal damage. Um, so if we can get a damage up doing a ton of damage, these kamikaze flies are really just going to kick ass. And then if we could become guppy, that is even better. So, let's get this guy done very quickly. He's going to throw us a tarot card. Hopefully it's something good. Um... I mean, really, any tarot card would be okay right now. I don't think there's really anything that would hurt. Um, obviously, some are better than the others. Joker is always a good card to get. Um, getting a bicycle card would actually be pretty cool, too. But um, the chances of that are actually really, really low. Let's get these silkworms under bay. And we should be able to kill them. Oh, almost. So close. Ah, if we can't get through these silkworms, we're never going to be able to kill them. There he goes. And he actually did give us a uh, bicycle card. So, let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's Joker, but really, any bicycle card right now is going to be very helpful. Two of diamonds, actually pretty good. So, if we could find the... Well, we don't have any bombs, so we can't find the secret room. Uh, but if we could get some more money, I could definitely make the... Ooh, I can't believe I took damage there. Well, I can't believe I took damage there, but... Um, definitely make the shop worthwhile at 12 cents right now. I don't know how worthwhile it is, especially with only one key. Um, but let's see what else happens. Maybe we can get some more change and would would make it worthwhile. Because, again, right now we're only on the Cellar 2, so we have no chance of Greed uh, being in there, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, I'm really doing bad damage, whereas um, one of my tier hits and two Kamikaze Flies um, it takes to actually kill these big spiders. So that's really bad. So we, we definitely want damage ups, but, I mean, we really don't have a choice in the matter if the... If the game wants to give it to us, it'll give it to us. If it doesn't want to give it to us, it won't give it to us. Hopefully. Okay, good. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We didn't take any damage. I probably will go into this curse room. Uh, you never know. Something good can be in there. It's probably going to be a waste of a heart. Um, but you never know. Let's see what we got. Telepills. Took us back into here. That was that was a waste of half a heart, but at least we don't have to give up a full heart for this. So let's get out of here. Do we want to use... And there was no Arcadia, which is actually um, pretty unfortunate. Do we want to go into the shop? 12 cents. We don't have any bombs to look for the secret room. I guess not. Let's just get out of here. Um, if we don't go into the shop, it doesn't spawn the items. So we can't lose getting something like compass, map, uh, mom's purse, all of those good things. So let's just go on to the next floor and see what we got here. Caves 1, great way to start. We will use our guppy's head. Um, and that was actually, a, I, I was going to say it was a good use of it. Uh, but considering what just happened here, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
Wow, that was very, very close. And I hate this setup. I always take a ton of damage in this setup. Okay, Whore of Babylon is a very interesting pickup right now. Um, it's, it's actually kind of useless to us, but it might become useful if we can get some more uh, soul hearts, get rid of some of these heart containers. Uh, we could definitely make Whore of Babylon very worthwhile. I mean, I could definitely use the power up at the very least. The damage up but of course to activate horror babylon you have to drop down to one heart um which i mean looks to be gonna happen could happen very soon uh but hopefully not and that's not really what we want to happen a half a heart not a not a whole heart right a half a heart so we would have to take another shot uh to be able to use the horror babylon which i don't think is in our best interest to be honest with you let's just kill gluttony gluttony can give us a hp upgrade uh, which i wouldn't mind even though we have horror babylon oh yeah well <laughs> okay then but i was definitely not going to just keep running as horror babylon only having one hit is definitely not something i consider safe so let's get this champion guy out of here as soon as we possibly can again i think maggie shots with some kind of shot speed and that's why we're just shooting these guys all over the place uh what makes the yours especially yours Ooh, that was bad uh very hard to deal with especially with my low damage i mean this just isn't this isn't going to be one of our best runs, you know? Uh, we want to get these yours. Oh, wait, no, I guess these yours aren't going to drop anything. We already got the champion to drop something. I was going to say we don't want to uh, blow them up or kill them above the gap so they do drop something. But I guess we already did that, so it doesn't matter. A um, bunch of flies here is okay. Uh, we will not be... Oh, we can go into our challenge room. Let's just see what's in here. Uh, we're not going to do it. This is probably where our secret room is, so I definitely will open that up for maybe enough money to go into the shop. Which would be really nice. Um, and we do have enough money to go to the shop. So, you know what? We will... Actually, we'll, yeah, we're going to go into the shop first. Hopefully, we get something good out of it uh, before we go into the boss fight. Because I don't like the idea of just having uh, two hearts in this boss fight. Not to think that this boss fight's really going to be anything to worry about. You never know. So, let's get up here. I'm sure I only have, like, one room to clean up before our store. Oh, man. This is not... The position I wanted to be in. I hate these guys so much. And this can be, hopefully not. But, I mean, if I don't do this correctly, this really could be the enemy here. Which would be really, really bad. Get this guy killed. And hopefully this is not. Okay, so we got him killed. We picked up the tarot car. Uh, Judgment is actually a very interesting pickup. Uh, but we'll leave this here right now because we are going to use this two diamonds to get into the shop. Uh, get these flies. Try not to get hit by these flies. Maybe I could get some of this TNT blown up, which I can't even get near the TNT. So, let's keep on going. We have found our shop. And, I mean, it's taken me oh, so many hits just to kill these flies that it's actually quite scary. This is an Emperor card. Not bad. That's definitely what I want to leave this floor with. So, let's just see what's in our shop here. Nun's Habit. This is a no-brainer. Uh, so, we will pick up Nun's Habit. Uh, we don't actually have a good use for it just yet, um, but might as well pick that up. And before I go into the boss fight, I am going to use that Judgment card, and then I'll come back for that Emperor card, and then hopefully we can just get out of here. Um, I, I wouldn't mind picking up that Soul Heart. That Soul Heart might have actually been a good uh, pickup, but maybe maybe we can make something happen with these 11 coins. Hey, there we go. We paid two coins for a Soul Heart, so now I'm happy we did not pick up that Soul Heart. And hopefully we can get this guy to pay out with some type of HP upgrade or the Compass even better. Very cool. That's what I wanted to see. And as long as we don't die to this boss, we're in a pretty decent position. Um, if we can get an HP upgrade from the boss, I would feel so, so much better. Um, a damage upgrade would be just as good, but I think HP right now uh, is something that we really, really need to worry about. Um, I almost wish I didn't have a full heart of health now that I have a soul heart, because then I'd be in a uh, perma uh, permanent Babylon state. Permanent Babylon state. I don't know if that's right, but I would be horror Babylon. Yes, I would. And it would work out um, to give me a pretty decent uh, damage. But, can't always get it. This we're going to have to be very careful about. I believe this is going to blow up bomb flies. Uh, shoot out bomb flies, I should say. Um, which actually might be in our best advantage because we don't have any bombs right now. So, being able to blow up these bomb flies next to that tinted rock uh, would be very useful to us. So, let's try to get some of these bomb flies. Oh. That's a red fly. That's not a bomb fly. And we really want these guys to work for us, not against us. So, oh, man, it's taken me so many shots just to kill uh, a bomb fly, which is really not good. And I'm, as you can see, I am purposely not shooting them over now. Oh, man, that was bad. 
Um, okay. Ooh. 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 We, we got to be very careful now not to take damage. Uh, we want to pick up that, definitely. Oh, that is awesome. We're going to pick up all of these because I don't feel safe whatsoever. And I don't think we took any red heart damage, so we can get a deal with the devil, but unless it's something really, really good, I wasn't going to take it. Jesus Juice is a great pickup right now, actually, which is, it says a range and tears up, but I believe it's a range and damage up. Yeah, so it's definitely a range. I believe it's also a damage up. There's really nothing else to do on this floor, so we're just going to use our flies and hop onto the next floor. And all of a sudden, I'm feeling a little better about our chances. I have a feeling that our um, shop is going to be straight up. So that is the way we're going to go. Our item room, actually. Uh, we see that we have a mini boss, which is um, more than likely in the uh, secret room. So we should have no problem getting that. And look at this. We are going to get ourselves a permanent uh, Horror Babylon state. And we might even be able to uh, pull off an HP upgrade here. Not that I don't know if I actually want one. Uh, but it's definitely a possibility of pulling up an HP upgrade here. So we wanted to get that fire out as soon as possible. Um, get these jumpers because a jumper on fire a flaming hopper not jumper a flaming hopper is a pain in the ass And I, I don't think they do more damage. They might actually do more damage, but they definitely definitely uh, have more health Which is a huge pain in the ass. I don't like it. So we got another key We don't want to pick up that half a heart. I almost did actually we do want to pick it up. Don't we? Um, I'm probably not gonna pick up uh, charm of the vampire just because I might want to try to stay in a permanent Whore of Babylon state, and if I get the Charm of Vampire, that will just be impossible. I am going to pick this up, just so we can go back down and play this again. Just getting some more money. Um, I would love to go back into the store. Um, an HP upgrade, I probably will take. I mean, I don't think I'm at the point right now where I'm like, oh, I got so much power and soul hearts that I don't need an HP upgrade. No, I'm, I'm definitely not there just yet. Um, but we, we are close to it, at least. Um, but at the very least, I want to stay as the Horror Babylon as long as I possibly can. As long as feasible, at least. Um, so we still don't have enough money for the store, so we'll just keep making our way to our boss room. Uh, these guys should be a lot easier as the Horror Babylon, or at least, um, relatively easier. Which they seem to be. I mean, at least our attack flies are hitting them once every, uh, killing them with two shots or something like that. Whatever the case is. Okay, Pestilence, we are going to get our, um, Meat Boy, which I am... Ooh, did not mean to walk into that. We are going to get our Meat Boy, which I am completely okay with. Uh, we definitely don't want to take damage, or at least this much damage, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So, let's just keep doing this. If we get hit again, since we have Scapular, we will be able, uh, to use our Kamikaze Flies again. Um, there it is, okay. See if we can get him to go straight after Pestilence. Uh, which they more or less did, I think. And he is almost dead. Just have to deal with a couple flies as well as his bombs. And we should be done with this. Very cool. Got our meat boy. Uh, I did pick up that half a heart because, again, I could keep playing that on the blood bank. And we're, we're not done with this floor. We're, we're definitely, definitely not done with this floor. Took way too much damage, but I really, really... You know what? We're going to go this way just in case I accidentally open up that uh, room, which I don't want to do. Um, we, I, I really, really want to get some more money. I mean, it's very important that I'm able um, to go to the store. It would be really, really nice. So we got two more cents. So, really, two more cents, and we'll have... A good chance at um, getting something good from the store. Um, I don't have any bombs. I would like to get those three bombs, but without bombs, there's really nothing I can do about that. And I feel like we will get the two cents. I need some soul hearts. Um, bad. Uh, what would be really nice is a way to recoup soul hearts. Uh, that would be very, very interesting. Um, but we don't know. We have already taken a deal with the devil, so we will not... Oh, this might be the two cents we need to go to the shop. We already did a tool with the, uh, deal with the devil, so we really have no chance... Ah, uh, one penny? Seriously? Uh, we really have no chance of getting a, uh, heaven room. Uh, so if we want any heaven items, we're gonna have to hope to get one from a, um... A, uh, I guess a secret room? If there's a heaven floor... Well, I don't even know if they generate. They might not even generate if you already gotta deal with the devil. So there might be any, no chance of getting a heaven item. Though I think, uh... Ooh, that was bad. I really actually think that a, um, relic which would be nice in the miter, can actually spawn in a non-heaven room. Uh, so if I can pick those up, that would be pretty awesome. Hopefully we can get this guy dead soon. Uh, hopefully we get a bomb somewhere. No, that's a pain in the ass. Maybe one of these things will drop a bomb. 
doubt it, but you never know. What am I stuck on? Oh, another poop. Um, I really wanted that tinted rock. That could be that could be our small rock right there, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's take this half a heart and let's go back up to our blood donation machine. And hopefully it does not pay out with a blood bag and it gives us a coin. Cool. So now we can go into our shop. Let's see what's in here. Uh, mom's purse. Uh, yeah, more than likely I'll get mom's purse. I'm not exactly 100% sure ready to do that yet, but more than likely that is what I'll pick up. Because um, right now, though, I have no trinkets, let alone two, and I have not opened up the chest yet, so I really don't have to worry about having that to be able to keep a trinket and go to the chest. Um, so we'll, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Luckily, though, our Horror Babylon's really helping us out quite a bit. We picked up another key, which is not bad. Um, and we will fight Super Envy, which can give us an attack fly, or kill us, either, either or. Hopefully not, but since this is a champion version, we have a pretty good chance, I believe, a pretty good chance of getting us our attack fly. Um, we are going to play the scaredy cat way of this. Ooh, ouch. That was, that was actually really bad. Uh, now I'm not feeling as good. Um, we're gonna play the scaredy cat way of doing this, where... Oh, we just die. That's, I guess that is the scaredy cat way of doing this. No, we're going to do this by just taking them out one by one instead of splitting them all up at once. Because they could be a huge pain in the ass when there's like a dozen balls bouncing around the screen. So it does take a little bit longer, true. Uh, but it's definitely a lot safer. In my opinion, at least. So, let's just get these guys moving. Stay away from them because I've already taken uh, a whole heart worth of damage. Um, now, I believe it actually was two half hearts because I had a heart and a half a soul heart when I came in here. Uh, but either or, it's not good. It's not good at all. If we don't get an attack fly, I believe... Oh, no, 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 because this isn't a boss, so we won't get a soul heart from him. So hopefully we get the attack fly. That's that's all I can really hope for. And I believe since he's a challenge mob, uh, we're more likely to get it because challenge mobs always drop something where... Uh, champion, not challenge mobs where uh, regular mobs don't always drop something. Generally, never drop anything, except Envy, because Envy can just randomly drop a um, attack fly. So, let's just get... Oh, man, that was really bad damage to take. And I, I don't know how good we're doing. We might have to... Uh -huh, and they didn't give us anything. Oh, man, this this isn't good. Uh, we don't even have bombs. Hmm... Oh, and I never used my guppy's pool. That, uh, guppy's head. That was probably a mistake. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go with this pill. Yeah. Let's see what this pill does for us. Telepills. What a waste. That didn't do anything for us. I was hoping... Nah. And now we don't have enough for Mom's Purse. It doesn't really matter because Mom's Purse wasn't going to be a huge thing for us. Do I pick up that heart? Yeah, I, I will pick up this heart for three cents. I'm going to lose Horror Babylon, but I can play it two more times on the Blood Bank. And now I do hope I get an HP upgrade, which would be nice. And we did not. We don't have any money to blow that up. So, yeah, that, that's it for this run. What was this in here? Ugh. No, that's... I mean, if listen, if we're in a position where that's the only thing that could save us, we're kind of screwed. I will waste a uh, key to go into the library. Maybe there's a Book of uh, Revelations. Maybe there's a Book of Sin. Book of Revelations. At the very least, we'll get another... Uh, and you know what? We're going to give up a, a Guppy's Head for the Book of Belial just to do a bunch more damage since we do have Nun's Habit. Um, hopefully, we can make this work for us. I'm not sure if it's gonna, but hopefully we can. We also have the Emperor card that will teleport us right to the boss room. Uh, so, let's go straight this way. We will use our book of uh, Belial here, because I really, really don't want to die here. I'm going to feel horrible if I do. Very, very bad. It would be horrible. I mean, there's, there's nothing else to say about it other than it would be ridiculous if we die here. So, let's... Oh, then we just took a damage. And we're... There we go. Okay, we got him killed. We did lose half a heart. Something good in here. Okay, Halo flies trapping. Uh, they will stop enemy tears from getting at us. And it's a Halo of two flies, so that's not bad. What we are going to do is we are going to just blow up all these poops. Hopefully, we can get a soul heart from it. That would be pretty amazing. I doubt it's going to happen, but you never, never know. Um, it looks like our boss room is going to be pretty far away unless we can go south here oh wow oh wow yep this is it's probably gonna be the end of me to be honest with you 
Wow, I cannot believe I didn't die. I'm very close to dying, but I did not die just yet. So let's get these guys killed. Oh, okay, let's get them all to go that way. I mean, one hit, we're dead. So we need to be very, very careful of taking damage. Because we don't want to take damage, pretty much. So, do we get anything good here? Uh, I'm not going to. No. Not going to do it. I'm going to... I don't think that one shot is really going to help me all that much. Um, I mean, if it comes down to one shot, I was probably going to lose anyway. Uh, hopefully, we can do something good here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Getting very close to death there. Bomb fly. Clearing these guys out for us would be actually huge. Oh, 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 okay. S slow your roll, guys. Slow your roll. Okay, we're okay. We're back. We're, we're okay again. Get this big fat fly, I think they're called. And, oh, he just had to spawn a bunch more. Get this bomber dead. Oof. Okay, okay. We should be able to get through this. This guy's going to be actually a pain in the ass. Okay. And hopefully this is not the right way, actually. And, oh, no, it could still be the right way. It could still be the right way. Um, we could actually be swinging to the left, then down, which is probably the most likely to be the case. This damn fly is just going to pay be a pain in my ass. There we go. Uh, cannot get that chest, which is a damn shame, I'd say. Um, I will go get that heart and use it on the blood donation machine. Um, as well as this one, because I won't give up my infinite, uh, horror Babylon just for one heart, but I will do it for an HP upgrade, um, because I'm just, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not in a good position, is basically what I am getting at. Um, so let's pick up this half a heart again, and we will go down there, and hopefully, hopefully, we will make something happen right now let's see did we get anything from here no we got though we did get enough money for the shop and since we know that greed or some type of mini boss is in that secret room uh we really really don't have much to worry about um well we have lots to worry about but i mean of greed being in our shop so we will come over here clear out this room hopefully uh this is going to be a pain in the ass room hopefully i don't get what i'm really worried about here is those damn eternal flies. That is actually my biggest fear. Uh, just running into them. When I'm trying to dodge tears. I should really use the horror Babylon. But I feel like we're at the point that these guys are about dead anyway. So there's really no point. Yeah, there it is. Whoa. Wow. Man, that, those halo of flies really, really helped me out there. And this is not where our store is. Which is a damn shame. So we're going to have to go down here and clear out two more rooms. Um, which these rooms don't necessarily have to be that hard. We might be able to... Wow, that was very close. Wow, that was very close. We need to stop doing stuff like that. So, let's just keep finish clearing these out. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's really what it is. I don't want to die. Okay, so, we have one more room here. Hopefully... Oh, man. This, yeah. That was it! I didn't... Oh, no, I have the Yonk. I have the Yonk. That was huge, huge save. Um, yes, now we're going to have to just run and dodge right away. There we go. Get away from these guys. It's. Oh, I almost feel like bombing my way out of here. The only problem with that is I really want to go into that shop because that shop it could be containing us something really, really good. I don't know what that really, really good is, but um, it could. Something amazing. Okay, so the one good thing about respawning as Blue Baby is that now we have permanent um, Horror Babylon. That was very anticlimactic. I'm not going to spend 15 cents on the Steam sale. Uh, I'll pick up a bomb. Why not? Okay, so let's just keep on going. I can't get that chest that's up there. And obviously, I am not going to go into the curse room. Whoa! That would have been bad, but luckily we... Oh, and I just walked right into that. So that was one heart down. Oh, man. This just... Ah, uh, this isn't my run. What can I say? Okay, so we did something there. Hopefully we can make it to the boss and make it through the boss. Uh, this is going to be very, very difficult, though. And not to get hit by any of these bomb thrown dudes. Um, and hopefully not get killed by whatever boss we're about to fight. And there it is. Now, that is the end. And I'm sorry for such a short episode. Um, on the eve, not on my eve, on the back end of such a really long episode. But that's just how it works sometimes. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.